Uh, I wanted to ask you a personal question. How old is your mattress and how about your pillow? Because if it's more than a couple of years old, you are probably sleeping with millions of these tiny creatures in your bed. Now they're microscopic, but they feed off your skin cells and they could be making you sick. 360MD Sanjay Gupta takes a look now under the covers and I want to warn you, after you see this story, you will not look at your mattress in the same way. When they bought their new house in late 2004, Allison and Reed Winnick were filled with promise and pride. We moved here October 1st into a pristine, gorgeous home on the beach. And within a couple of weeks, we all started getting sick. Coughs and congestion and runny noses. The whole family was besieged by a mysterious illness. They were exhausted, moving at a slower pace. It became harder to wake up in the morning, and seven-year-old Justin was late for school almost every day. I was ready to move out. Increasingly frustrated and confused, the Winnicks had air samples taken in their new home. They feared it was sinister mold growing in the air ducts or even asbestos or fiberglass from new construction. It was neither. We had lots of dust mites. Lots and lots of dust mites and nothing else. Everything else came up clean. It was in every room that we tested. The bedrooms, the playroom, the living room. It was everywhere. The Winnicks were suffering from indoor allergies from dust mites. Dust mites are microscopic spiders, so small that 7,000 of them can fit on a dime. They thrive in humidity and feed off skin cells human shed. The Winnicks aren't alone. 99% of all households have them. The average number in any given bed? Two million. In the case of the dust mites, what the allergy substance is, is disgustingly, it is a very potent protein in the fecal dropping of these mites. And they tend to be in highest concentrations in bedding, in pillows. While the Winnick's indoor allergy trigger is the dust mite, there are several other culprits when it comes to indoor allergies. Indoor allergies are extremely common, probably vastly more common than seasonal allergies. The number one culprit are the pets at home. With cats and dogs, the actual allergen isn't their hair, but a protein found in their saliva, dander, skin and urine. It's so pervasive it is easily transported on an owner's clothing. As for cats, even if you remove one from a room, it takes six months before it's free of cat allergen. Also, there may be a reason why some people are allergic to some cats and not others. The darker the color of the pet dander on cats, the more allergy symptoms, and male cats have more dander and seem to have more allergenic properties than female cats in a variety of preliminary studies. Besides dust mites and pet dander, cockroaches are also a major source of indoor allergies in cities. One of the difficulties uh, in many of these perennial allergens is that you can clean vigorously. However, uh, they're going to recur, so it's something that requires ongoing effort. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN, Atlanta.